Hello and welcome to video number four. In this specific video, you're going to be finalizing all of your pages. Now, before we jump in and start doing this, I want to talk briefly about a few important things. For example, the sales page. The file name of the sales page needs to be index.html or index.htm. And the reason being is when you upload the files later on, when the browser reads the directory, the folder, and so forth, when it sees index.html, then it's going to go straight to that file. So the, your sales page needs to be this, and if that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, don't worry, just follow me step by step and you'll get there. The thank you page, make sure that it is not named as thank you.html or thanks.html or anything with the word thanks unless it has a lot of numbers and, and things that make it hard for somebody to guess. Uh, this is more of a protection step that you can take to protect your download files because you're going to have people out there who will guess and try to guess and get your product for free. So you want to make it a little more difficult. You can put thanks dot bunch of numbers, bunch of asterisk numbers and stuff like that. And also what we need to do is we need to ensure that you have all of your content files links on the thank you page. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this in just a minute. And also another thing to think about is do you want to add bonus offers or related products to cross sell other offers? Because you got to realize that the thank you page is prime real estate. And what I mean by that is you can actually sell other related items or get people to sign up to a related product squeeze page and so forth. So with that said, let me go ahead and Find a product and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to finalize your pages and your content. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to be choosing a video course on how to edit graphics. So basically graphics 101. And as we can see here, we have nine different videos. And so what we want to do and what I recommend you do is to simply create a folder so right now I'm using Windows if you're using a Mac obviously uh, do whatever you need to do to create a new folder so I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this JVZoo uploads and what I want to do is to simply upload my index.html files my sales letters my thank you page and my content files so for you you might have videos you might have ebooks and so forth now the easiest way to go about doing this is to zip your files up so figure out which files you want and then zip them up so in this case I have nine different files here that I've zipped up and these are video files and what I want to do is just to cut those. So as you saw earlier, what I did was highlight these and then right click, cut or copy, and then just copy these over to here. So paste. And there we go. So we got the nine videos here. Now I want to access my thank you page and my sales page and they're located here so I'm gonna highlight these and then copy these and then I'm gonna go back to that folder that we just created and I'm gonna paste that here so in this case this is my index.html sales page and my thank you.html page now obviously earlier I said do not name it thank you.html or thanks.html. So in this case, I like to just add a bunch of numbers and so forth and so forth. So once that's done, I have my files here. So 
I'd say the easiest way is just to put your zip files in the same folder as your index.html folder. Now, if you have a lot more of these files, then you might want to categorize them and create different folders and organize them and so forth. But in this case, we're going to keep it simple. Okay, so now what I want to do is just to open these up just so that we can see what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is the sales page, as we can see, and we have a button here, but we can always replace that with the JVZoo button. And the thank you page here, uh, this is what it looks like. So what we want to do is to make these into links. We want to link the, the zip files to each one of these. And I'm going to show you how to do all of this. In order to do this, you're going to need to have a web editing tool called Composer. Now, you can use any web editing tool that you want to. But in this case, I'm going to be using Composer because it's free and it's easy to use. Okay, so go to Google and type in K-O-M-P-O-Z-E-R. And this is it. So simply click on this. Now, the reason why I recommend this is because it is available for many different operating systems. So if you click on download at the top here, you're going to see that it is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you're using a Mac computer or a Windows computer, this would be compatible to you. I like Composer because it's very, very straightforward and very easy to use. So what I recommend you to do is to go ahead and download this depending on your operating system. It also offers on different languages as well. So go ahead, download this and install it because I'm going to be using it soon. So if you need to pause this video now, you can do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit the thank you page because we're going to need to edit the thank you page to get that ready. Uh, we don't need to edit the sales page just yet uh, because we haven't actually gotten the payment button because you need to set up the JVZoo product first before you can actually get the button and then we're going to add the button and that's why we're going to upload after we add the button. So I'm going to show you how to edit the thank you page which simply all you need to do is go back here and locate the thank you page etc.html right click on that and open with composer now you'll notice that is k-o-m-p-o-z-e-r but in this case when you install it you realize it's c-o-m-p-o-s-e-r i don't know why they do that but that's just how it is so click on that okay great so now you can see that the file has been opened by composer and now we can begin to edit this thank you page now if you've used microsoft word this should not be as complicated in fact as you can see it's possibly almost very similar in fact you can bold you can underline you can italicize you can center you can left align right align you can add images you can add tables and so forth now what I want to do in this case is to connect the zip files to each one of these titles. So whenever my end user clicks on one of these links, they can download the videos. Now for some of you, if you're wondering how you can get it where they can view the videos on the website, to do that simply basically, in this case, I've got a flash file. So you would just unzip this into its folder and just link it directly to that folder. So if you want people to view your videos, simply do that. But in this case, I'm going to make it simple. I'm just going to link it to the .zip file. So video one obviously links to this file here. So if I right click and click on rename, you'll notice that I can actually highlight this text. And what I want to do is this. As long as your zip files are in the same folder as your thank you page.html file, you can actually just go here and highlight the link, click on link, and simply enter the file name. You don't have to enter anything else 
before that as long as you include the downloadables in the same folder as this. Now if it's in a different folder you're gonna have to make sure that you include that folder so I'm teaching you this just to keep it simple so I enter that here click on OK and I go ahead and do the exact same thing if I click on this in Windows if I double click it slowly I can actually rename it so highlight this click on link or control L wherever you choose to do and do the same thing now I'm not gonna go through this whole thing just because we have nine zip files I'm just gonna do three and don't forget to click on save and remember the thank you page is prime real estate so you could also add you know bonus offers here you could add an image and you can change the color of the fonts and this and that add cross cells and this and that so in this example I'm gonna keep it simple just leave it to three and I'm gonna close this down now the sales page I do not need to actually edit that just yet because in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up everything on JVZoo. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Number one, make sure your sales page is in the same folder as index.html or index.htm. Make sure that your thank you page is also in the same folder. Make sure that you rename it and then of course just go about doing that. So now that we have everything here, we can set it up on jvzoo.com. So let's go ahead and do that in the next video.